say that I feel a sense of fear. Fear because um, I've experienced these things since I was a little child. And um, quite often I come out into my lounge room and see groups of spirits dancing around my lounge room. Yeah. I can see them and hear them. I get woken up in the middle of the night. I get voices in my head. My question is, is that do I have the right to put a protective barrier and around myself, or should I? It's a good question. Yeah. Um, deal with the fear. Deal with the fear. It's my Yeah, let's go back to yesterday's conversation. Yesterday's conversation was about the law of attraction. These spirits are dancing in your lounge room because of your law of attraction. Right? So what you need to do is... A, yeah. So it's actually something you've attracted to yourself in order to deal with. So they're great. They're actually helping you work through your emotional condition. You've admitted that part of it is a fear. So there's a fear they want you to address. They're helping you to address whatever their condition is in. Your law of attraction is helping you to, do the, to attract spirits which, remember I said yesterday, intensify your emotional condition. So if my emotional condition is one of fear and I'm mediumistic, I'll be attracting a heap of spirits which will trigger my fear. So what I need to do then is allow the fear to be processed. Does that make sense to everyone? Allow yourself to feel the fear to, and allow it to actually be processed emotionally. Which is going to mean you'll be shaking, you, you know, you might have all sorts of physical responses. Keep breathing diaphragmatically, release this fear from you. So if I put my intention and my attention on my soul condition, then I'm going to attract spirits that are going to be dancing around my lounge room. Exactly. Now, of course, you can pray to God for protection. So all of you have the ability to long for God for protection and you'll receive it. Alright? But you need to ask yourself, all right, you need to say to yourself, all right, my law of attraction is, I've brought this into my life, there's an emotion there. So you can ask for God protect, for protection and you will receive that protection. But that needs to be, you need to bear in mind in that entire process that you still have a law of attraction. And your law of attraction is there to expose the emotion. So you need to feel the emotion. And it always gets back to that point.